we meet today in an atmosphere of right We must continue to seek agreement. Encouraged by yesterday's affirmative response to this proposal by the Soviet foreign minister on an arrangement to keep weapons of mass destruction out of outer space. Let us get our negotiators back to the negotiating table to work out a practicable arrangement to this end. Finally, in a field where the United States and the Soviet Union have a special capacity in the field of space, there is room for new cooperation, for further joint efforts in the regulation and exploration of space. I include among these possibilities a joint expedition to the moon. Man does not live by bread alone, and the members of this organization are committed by the charter to promote and respect human rights. Those rights are not respected. When a Buddhist priest is driven from his pagoda, when a synagogue is shut down, when a Protestant church cannot open a mission, when a cardinal is forced into hiding, or when a crowded church service is bombed, the United States of America is opposed to discrimination and persecution on grounds of race and religion anywhere in the world, including our own nation. We are working to right the wrongs of our own country. I know that some of you have experienced discrimination in this country, but I ask you to believe me when I tell you that this is not the wish of most Americans, that we share your regret and resentment, and that we intend to end such practices for all time to come, not for our visitors, but for our own citizens as well. My fellow inhabitants of this planet, let us take our stand here in this assembly of nations and let us see that if we, in our own time, can move the world to a just and lasting peace, 